Hi guys, it's Mrs. Millison. Okay, we're going to do some algorithms with array lists. Okay, um, trying to think of some different algorithms that we, or something different from what we've done. So I'm going to create two algorithms. One is going to combine two lists, and one of them is going to look for duplicates. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and created two lists. One was a, a type string, and one was type integer. And the strings I just called names, and I just put a couple names in. Okay, um, and you'll see I do have a duplicate. All right. For my integer list, I just called it ages and whatever. And I went ahead and just created um I I went ahead and just created 10 items in the list by choosing random numbers between 1 and 100, okay? And then just putting them in the index in order. Just for something fun. Just so I don't have to sit there and type 10 numbers, okay? So every time we run it, we're going to get different numbers. Okay. And of course, then I have my print statement. It's my favorite part of list. I don't have to do any kind of loop to print everything. Got to love it. Okay, so let's just run and see what we got. Okay, so there's all of our names, and there's my first 10 random numbers. So, of course, if I run it again, names will be the same, but my random numbers will change. Okay. Um, so, glancing, it doesn't look like this num these numbers have any duplicates, so we'll see. All right, so let's create some algorithms um, to do those two things. So, first, let's combine two lists. Now, I'm going to combine the names list and the ages list. Now, they're not the same object type, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with it. Okay, so public um, are going to be static because I don't, um, I don't have any objects to attach them to. Um, my return type is going to be an array list. I'm going to call it, oops, combine, oops, to lists. Okay, so of course what I want is my input are two array lists. So I've got to say array list a and then array. Oops. See, those are my two parameters. Okay. All right. So what I want to do is I want to create a new array list that I'm going to return. And I'm going to go through and traverse and add first items from this list and then tack on the items from this list. So the first thing I have to do is create a new array list for um, all of my items, all my objects from every list to dump into. And I think we're just going to call this combined. All combined list equals new array list. And again, I'm not putting the type of object because it's going to hold, in my example, it's going to hold strings and, num and integers. Okay, so it doesn't have to necessarily be the same object. Okay, so of course, at the end, I'm going to return my combined list after I built it. Okay, so that's my beginning, that's my end. Now let's build it. Okay, first part should be easy because all I'm going to do is traverse through array A and add everything to combine list. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use, oops, I is less than a size, right? And then, okay, so I'm just going to traverse through and I'm going to add my combined list. Now, I do my at dot add, so I want to specify an index number, so I'm going to put it in the same first index and then a and then get the item from list A at that index to stick it into the the corresponding index in my new combined list list, okay? So that should do the trick, right, for that one, okay? Um, let's, let's compile. Now, I'm getting all these warnings because it doesn't like that I'm mixing up my objects, but it'll still run. All right, let's run this so far and see what happens, okay? So if I come down here and I'm going to do... I'm going to print it. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to create a new um, list. I'm going to call it new one. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to create it when I run this method. Okay. So I'm going to create it when I run this method. So my first one is names. And the second list is ages. Oops. Oh, good heavens. I'm trying to make my typing a little easier. Okay. So, so far, all I have my combined two lists doing is taking all the uh, elements from 
my first list names and putting them into the combined list and then returning the combined list. Okay, so what I should get here Oh, let's print it. <laughs> print new one. And I shouldn't, yeah, I shouldn't see anything different, okay? So now I want to do another loop inside my method to tack the ages, the ages in my second list, to the end here, okay? So I'm going to do another for loop. And again, I can use i again, but I'm not going to because I want to do something with my i and my j, okay? So j has to go through the size of each element in the b list. So J plus plus. Okay, so I want to do it again. I want to do the same thing. Take my combined list dot add, and whatever. Um, I, uh, let's talk about this for a second. I know I want to put in B dot get, um, and then whatever element it's on. So this will get the first element, um, index zero, index one, index two, index three, okay? But where am I gonna put it? So I wanna put it at the end of combined, at the end of combined lists, which is now holding all of the elements from the first list. So I need to know the size of that first list. So I'm gonna put it in, um, I wanna know the size of the first list. So say the first list is six, okay? So, if the size of the first list is six, one, two, three, four, five, six, this index number for the next item will be six, okay? So I'm gonna do this plus J, because what's gonna happen is J is zero now, but when this goes up to one, it'll put it the second, uh, second element in the B list into element seven, okay, or index seven. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? So this will get me the correct index at the end of the first list, okay? So I'll just add J every single time I go, so it'll keep bumping it down in index number, okay? All right, I think that'll do it. Let me get rid of some space here. I think I closed my method. Yep, I've already returned. That's right, because I ran it. Let's see if I get any errors. Okay, I get all those warnings, but that's all right. <laughs> so now it should go. Now when I print new one, it should print the numbers at the end of the names. There we go. So here's my new one array list created by my combined two lists method. Okay, so it just took all the names from names and all the ages from ages and tacked them together. Okay, so different type of algorithm. All right. All right, second one I'm going to do is I'm going to look for duplicates, okay? So again, I, I don't I, I don't want to specify a, a string or a int because I want to be able to use this for any kind of array list, any, any um, type, string or integer, double. So I think I'm going to do a, a Boolean um, return. So I'm just going to say, you know, duplicates, true or false, okay? So I'm going to call it dupes. And I just want to look inside an array list. Okay, so I'll just do array list A. Okay, so I know I'm going to have to return true or false, right? I have to uh, return a Boolean. Okay, um, so what I want to do is, um, hmm, how am I going to think about this? As it goes through, I guess I wanted to compare the first one to the second one, the first one to the third one first one to the fourth one, so forth. So I think I'm going to do a nested loop. So it goes through each item, but then every item is compared with the items, all the other items in the list, okay? So I'm going to do a nested loop. And then a size, i plus plus. Okay, so while it does that first one, it has the first element, I'm just thinking 51 or Barb, and then I'm going to go through again. 
and I want it to look at the next element over. So I'm going to say um, i plus 1. Okay, so it'll look at um, it'll look at two, yeah, yeah, okay, so let's see, a dot size, a plus plus, and then what happens in here, let me close all my loops here, so what happens in here, okay, so if the first element, so a get i, um, equals equals a dot get j going to happen um i don't know i don't want to remove it uh i don't want to change it i guess i just kind of want to count okay so if i can if they are equal to each other i'll just increase my count okay um and if the count's greater than zero i'll return true and if the count's equal to zero, I'll return false. So I guess I need a count out here, okay? And then I'm just gonna increase my count if there is a duplicate. If, if, um, if the first element equals the second element, and then the first element equals the third element, and so forth, I'll get a count, okay? Um, so at the end, and then of course, it'll loop back out to the second element, second element plus the third element, second element compared to the fourth element and so forth. Okay, so I guess at the end, so outside of my loop here, I wanna return um, whether count is true or false. So if I, since it is a Boolean, if I just say count is greater than zero, oops, that should yield me a true or false because if count's tr greater than zero, it'll yield me true, okay, because I put it, my little expression here in parentheses. If count's still zero, um, that should be false. Okay, so I should get my my Boolean output. Okay. All right, let's double check it. Let's make sure I didn't get any errors. Well, I guess I could put my J as less than, huh? <laughs> okay, it's not comparing anything. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's run our dupes. Let's run our dupes on our two lists, okay? Let me come back up here to my main method. And of course, I have to um, print, right? Because it's just gonna print, it's gonna return a, a, um, a true or a false. I'm gonna do names.dupes. Was it dupes or? I think it was dupes with an S, right? Yes. And then, Of course I did that wrong. I always do that wrong. So it's because it's, it's not, it's a static method. So we gotta put the names in the parameter. Okay. And then we'll do the same one for our ages. A little word in here first. Any duplicate names? Question mark. And then any duplicate ages? That okay. Okay, we'll run. Okay, any duplicate names? True. Okay, because Barb and Barb were duplicate. Okay. Now it looks like our numbers didn't have any duplicates. Okay. Let me comment out the second Barb. So you can see that that changes to false, okay? Because with those random numbers, we don't know if we're gonna get any duplicates. Okay, so I took out the second barb, so now it's saying false for any duplicate names. And my numbers are still no duplicate. I'm gonna run it again. I'm determined to get a duplicate number. Ah, so now we've got duplicate ages. Ah, 50 and 50, okay? So it did, it did find our duplicate ages. Okay, good. All right, so those were just two, um, again, different types of algorithms. Um, you know, we've done a, done a lot of different algorithms, um, you know, summing up things, averaging things, 
replacing things based on certain conditions, um, counting items based on certain conditions. So I'm just trying to do a lot of different types of algorithms. Okay, I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.